Absolutely. Finula, thanks so much for joining us. Now, let's uh, kick things off with, with a look at just the details here. How much have we seen in terms of February? And has there been any kind of signs, as some had been saying earlier this month, that there were signs of things bottoming out? Well, we haven't seen really a change in the pace of fall of house prices. They fell by 1.8% this month, as you've already said. Um, but what we are seeing is that affordability is improving dramatically, both for existing borrowers because of the cuts in interest rates and also for new borrowers who've seen both falling in, falls in mortgage rates and falls in house prices. Now, we've seen a big increase in the number of buyer inquiries, the number of people who are interested, but that hasn't translated to sales yet. So all we're saying at the moment is that perhaps it's these changes in affordability that are making people more curious, but they're still not quite confident enough to make those transactions. No, they're not confident enough they've got a job in the next week, are they? Well, certainly that's that's true. There are there is you know an awful lot of bad economic news around, and, and increasing reports of, of uh, increasing layoffs and unemployment, and of course that will affect people's overall consumer confidence, and it's also going to affect their willingness to to make a big transaction at this point. But there will always be a rump of people, partly when the when the market is um, when the job market is more volatile because they're moving for jobs or because their families are growing as well. Yeah, if it had a, you know what are the dangers given. The, the, the pace of job losses has increased at such a, a, a rate now that we see another down leg in terms of these house prices and actually one which is even steeper than what we've seen already. Well, I think the uh, the change in house prices have been happening before we started to see changes in unemployment, and unemployment does tend to lag other things. It will affect confidence, and when when people start to feel more comfortable about the future jobs market, that will that will impact on the housing market. But you're you're dead right. I mean, the, the economic um, situation at the moment is very uncertain, both in the UK and globally. Um, but that but that said, I think you know that the housing market did begin to, it, its correction before then, so it's not necessarily the case that it will it will take another big fall down. Um, um, we, but we just have to wait and see what happens with the economy because it, you can't take one away from the other. Um, anything here you can see in terms of a geographical breakdown? Well, in terms of affordability, um, clearly those people with the, the largest loans are the ones that, that see the biggest difference in payment and, and obviously that's going to be in uh, the, the Londoners that will see a, a biggest uh, saving if you like but that's all sort of relative it needs to be put in context I haven't got any brand new uh, regional figures for you today but the last set was suggesting that the south of the, the south of, uh, of England and the, it was um, falling at a, a slightly faster rate than the north of England so a bit of a switch around of that north-south gap that we're used to that we have been used to seeing Nice to see you, Fionella. Thanks very much indeed, uh, indeed for joining us. Fionella Ali there from the nation.